Ino Yamanaka from uh, Naruto and Naruto Shippuden and Boruto. Uh, I feel like they wasted her potential real early on in the franchise of uh, a Naruto. Um, I feel like this character had a lot of potential when we first saw her. She's very She's got a really cool design. She was really meant to be Sakura, our main female protagonist's uh, rival of sorts. Basically her Sasuke, like Naruto's, you know, rival. She shows up being a cocky bitch. Uh, I can't remember if she was smarter than Sakura. I think she might have been up there, though, in being one of the best of their, cl their class, their Genin class. Uh, I think that... She had uh, plenty of opportunities to uh, become awesome. And they kind of didn't do anything with her other than have a really childish rivalry with Sakura during the tuning exams. When she showed up, you just were like, and who are you? Kind of. It felt like when she showed up with Shikamaru and Choji. It also felt like uh, she was kind of her. Their rivalry was so childish, especially since these kids are doing ninja work, a life or death profession in this world. Uh, this world is very archaic, and yet these kids are, are fighting over a uh, a boy that they like. And I feel like that's just not the vibe we were all feeling when we were originally starting to watch Naruto. We just came off of the Land of Waves arc, or saga, um, the first big moments in the early Naruto that were super deep. Characters died, Zabuza and Haku, who we learned to care about. Uh, shit got really real, and I, I don't mind going back to a little bit of some goofy stuff, but I, I just felt like if they're going to portray themselves as future ninjas, future protectors of the Leaf Village, but they're still arguing about something they... Uh, argued about in um, grade school, basically, in ninja grade school. And they used to be best friends as kids, or really good friends, and yet this drove them apart. I can understand when they're real little, uh, them having this, th this thing. But when they got to the tuning exams, and that whole fight was really them just... I don't know. It felt like they are putting their dirty laundry out there while everybody else, every other fight in the tuning exams felt like it had some weight to it. It felt like these kids are really trying to be top level ninja, uh, trying to be tuning. And it felt like Eno and Sakura just wanted to fight for a guy, Sasuke, who wanted zero to do with either of them, and they aren't stupid girls. They would figure, you'd think they'd figure this out. Uh, other than that, I mean, I felt like Eno, at first, when you first see her, you feel like she's got this uh, leader vibe, like she's the leader of the Eno Shikacho trio, in my opinion. Uh, when I first saw her, I thought that she might have been the dominant member of that trio in 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 ways of the fact that she was louder than Shikamaru and Choji. She was kind of in charge, and it almost felt like maybe uh, Shikamaru let her lead at uh, for a while because he was just too lazy to take control, which makes a lot of sense for his character. But I think they could have put her out, they should have displayed her as a leader, as a, not necessarily a strategist, because that was Shikamaru's deal, but they could have uh, displayed her as somebody that was really good with hand-to-hand -hand combat. I know she got the mind transfer jutsu, but that was really the only trick she had going for her. And it really relies on... Um, other members of her team backing her up because once she does it she's very vulnerable and that's fine and it's a great maneuver that only her and her clan uh supposedly can do for some reason and she can invade people's minds uh it just feels like they could have adapted that they could have made her 
more dangerous than they did. Uh, I think that maybe the biggest mistake they made early on, not just her having a childish rivalry with Sakura, which could have been looked past after the fight, they could have had her win that fight. The fact that Sakura broke out of her mind transfer jutsu just for because she's got she's mentally too st stubborn or whatever, however she broke out of that, that made zero sense. I think that in some way, shape, or form, they should have had the two girls go at it, go hard, uh, do everything they absolutely, absolutely could, and made that fight a little more, not, not necessarily bloody, but... I don't know. There was a lot more they could have done to make it feel more on par with how badass some of these fights were. Even the short fights uh, Shino had uh, with the Sound Ninja dude. Uh, what's his damn name? Zaku, I think his name was. That fight was intense as, as all hell. But then we eventually get to this cat fight, which is the best you can call it. A cat fight between these two girls that are trying to be super ninjas, cop, basically the police of this world, and they're fighting about a boy. But, and it ends with a draw. I feel like they shouldn't have allowed this fight to end at a draw. I think it would have been cool if they let Eno win this fight. Because later on in Shippuden, Sakura becomes one of the strongest female characters in the Leaf Village. And obviously Eno falls pretty far behind because she doesn't get to be uh, Tsunade's number one student. I, I can't remember if Eno even got any training from her. Uh, I, I know Sakura like sought out that training so she wouldn't be weak and she wouldn't have... Uh, have to rely on Naruto and Sasuke any longer. Uh, and she becomes pretty much a badass who can take on a member of the Akatsuki with a little bit of help from Granny Chio. Super cool. And they could have had Ino win this fight, then have Ino lose in the main tuning exams, or have her be competitive with a, a male member of the cast. That would have been really fun to see. To see Ino go head-to-head... -head with someone uh, who made it to the finals, uh, with Konkuro, or with Shino, and actually find a way to keep up, and maybe go a little harder than she did with Sakura, and maybe inspire Sakura, who realizes that Ino might have been holding back during their fight because of their previous friendship. That's a story thread they could have sewn there. Um, I feel like Eno in the crowd, you know, cheering on Shikamaru was cute and all. But I think it would have been cool to see her make it to the Chunin exam finals. They didn't need to have a draw. I know they weren't focused on developing Eno, but it would have been a cool way to also develop Sakura going forward. Because then in Shippuden, when Sakura becomes such a badass, they could have either had a rematch or Eno could have uh, seen how strong Sakura becomes and, uh, you know, subsides to uh, how much hard work she's put in over the last two years. But I feel like Eno could have been even more than just an obstacle for Sakura. She could have been the leader of the Eno Shikacho trio uh, until, you know, Shikamaru and has that a major, amazing arc with uh, Asuma, which I feel. Eno could have been more involved in. I know Shikamaru, it was mostly Shikamaru's moment, and I really wouldn't change a thing about that moment because uh, the Asuma Shikamaru uh, arc in Shippuden is hands down the best arc in the entire uh, Shippuden uh, series. I, not, I wouldn't say it's the best arc from pre time skip, but after time skip, uh, the Shikamaru, Asuma, Hidan, Kakagazu uh, arc was A1, almost 
absolutely perfect. But I feel like they should have allowed Eno and Choji to be bigger parts of that, not just supporting members of Shikamaru's plan to get revenge. If Eno was portrayed as more of a main character, especially a lot of the females really got pushed aside and shipped in. When she was uh, portrayed as you know, kind of a leader of her group in part one. And then, you know, just a supporting cast member after that. And she never really got her moment to shine. Her, Like I said, her moment, her fight with Sakura was disgraceful compared to the rest of the bouts. And then going forward, uh, you know, she got to connect everybody's brains with the... Uh, with her mind jutsu, so she, they could all basically have a mind walkie-talkie going on, which was cool. She's a great supporting ninja, which is cool. She has a role to play, and she does get a little bit more screen time in uh, Boruto than most of the original Genin. Also, I don't like the idea that she ended up with Sai at the end. I'm not saying Sai is not a terrible character or a terrible character. He just didn't do anything for me personally, and I don't think that her ending up with him meant anything for the story. She ended up having a kid in Boruto. He's a cool kid, and that's dope and all. And I like that he they mixed their two jutsus in a way. But I think it would have been more interesting if Eno ended up with somebody like Choji, since she was so, so into handsome men. Um, it would have been interesting if she ended up with someone like Choji, who was kind, you know, a little heavyweight and a uh, little flawed. Or what if she ended up with somebody like Kiba, you know, the smelly, dirty dog guy? Uh, that would have been really cool. Because I guess ending up with Choji would be weird. It's kind of like her brother, since they were a team for so long. I can see that being an issue. Plus, I, you know, Choji found a different girl. But Kiba really got left behind in Boruto with no girlfriend, no cut kid to continue his doggy legacy. Could you? Okay. Okay. Could you imagine if Eno and Kiba ended up together uh in Boruto, and they had a kid who has a pet dog, a ninja dog, like like Akamaru, but their own, and they also used the mind transfer jutsu. Would have been absolutely an amazing combo. Uh, could you imagine if they could transfer their mind into their dog? Take over that dog, and then go out and scout and see if there's anybody ahead undo the jutsu, come back to their brain, imme almost immediately come back to their body, tell their team, hey, there's some ninjas ahead, I just saw them, my dog's on his way back. That'd be sick. I think that'd be really cool if he, if the kid, Eno and Kiba's kid, existed and they combined the mind transfer jutsu with the ninja dog style. It would be really fun. Not only would they have someone to fight. That's another thing. The weakness of the mind transfer jutsu is that you have to use it uh, with a, a teammate so you, they can protect your lifeless body uh, or they can attack the opponent that you've taken over. And I feel like if they had a dog, a ninja dog, they could protect your lifeless body when you use your mind transfer jutsu, especially if you're on your own and that's your only option. You have your dog there to protect you while you're vulnerable. I think that would have been a, a way more fun combo than her and Sai. Uh, in my opinion, Sai was kind of a pointless character. He had a, a very okay arc, I guess, at the beginning of Shippuden. Uh, they tried to make it seem like this mystery. Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Is he a spy? I just feel like they could have done the same thing with a character like Shino and actually develop somebody that we already co have come to love uh, from part one instead of adding this random character that nobody knew about beforehand. There was no hints to. And then they end up putting him with a character like Eno, a character who needed development and could have ended up with a character like Kiba and developed a really cool child going into Boruto. 
that's just me. That's just my opinion. I think that Eno is a underrated character, but I understand why she is, because they didn't do anything with her other than make her uh, support. And I guess that's all her character was meant to do, but her dad was kind of a badass. He could crush people's minds, and I assume she can do so as well as an adult. They just never show it really happening. And now in Boruto, she's like head of security in a way. Like she's she's in control of like a, I think, some type of mind jutsu that if anybody crosses it into the village illegally, she'll know and she can tell Naruto or uh, Shikamaru about it. And that's cool. It's cool she's got a role. She also sells flowers. That's one of her big things. She's big into selling flowers. Her family is, at least. And that's cool. She's got a role to play. And she is the mother of one of the cooler kids in Boruto. And I guess that's an okay place to be going forward. But I feel like she had a lot of potential. Um, just like a lot of the other females that kind of got left behind. But Eno you know, never really even got to have an epic moment that wasn't shared by like Choji and Shikamaru when they took on Asuma. She didn't have a moment to herself. She didn't get an opportunity to uh, take down an Akatsuki member on her own like Shikamaru did. Yes, he got a lot of help from them in that fight, but in the end, Shikamaru's the one that took the dude down. Maybe Eno could have been someone who could go head-to-head -head with Conan if they had built her up to be actually strong enough to do such a thing. I think it's a crazy thought to even think that she's that strong uh, to go head-to-head -head with Conan. But you wouldn't say that about Sakura. You could say that Sakura could stand a chance against Conan. She took on Sasori. But you would say that Eno would be absolutely obliterated by Sorcery, which isn't right. She should be up there. She should be right there on the cusp behind Sakura. Sakura is our number one girl in, in the Leaf Village. Eno should be number two. She's her rival. Am I wrong? But uh, maybe I just, I'm looking too much into Eno's character. I guess she was never meant to be anything more than an obstacle for Sakura not to defeat. I, she she tied with her and they became kind of friends again that kind of bicker still I don't know I think that you know could have been a lot more she's got a great design and a great attitude and I think that she could have been displayed as a really smart ninja really they could have given her more abilities that set her apart from everybody else that involved a mind transfer type thing at the very least my dream of her kid with kiba would have been op as shit ninja dog mind transfer come on i can't be the only one to think about that hey if you could please like, share, and comment on this video, it would help me out oh so much. I am Mr. Morfetto. Please subscribe to the Mr. Morfetto page and let me know what you thought of uh, this video. What do you think? Do you think Eno had more potential than what she got in the series? Or do you think she was in the perfect role? Because I feel she could have been more of a a better rival for Sakura to overcome going forward. She should have had the opportunity to beat Sakura in the tuning exams or just let Sakura beat her there. But they could have done more than just have them tie and bicker about a boy. That's just me. I will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful day.